Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine molecular geometry of SO3 molecule. It's a chemical formula for sulfur trioxide and to understand its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So here is a Lewis structure of SO3 in which sulfur is a central atom and it is forming three double bonds with three oxygen atoms over here. So um, at the first sight this looks like of a trigonal planar structure because there are three atoms forming bonds with a central atom over here but let's not jump to the conclusion and look at its shape and use the AX and rotation method to find out if we are on the right track. So if you look at its shape over here you can see in the 3D that this yellow ball over here represents sulfur and the three uh, balls that are here are for oxygen atoms and um, it has quite a symmetrical structure and because the central atom is forming bonds with three atoms it is most probably trigonal planar structure but let's confirm it using AX and rotation method. So now if you uh, know the AX and rotation method is the most easiest way to find out the molecular geometry and for that you need to just find out the rotation. A stands for central atom, X is the number of atoms forming bonds with the central atom and N is the number of lone pairs that are present on the central atom. So for SO3, we have sulfur as a central atom, so we'll place A. There are three atoms forming bonds with sulfur atoms, so it will be AX3. And as there are no lone pairs, the notation will be AX3 for this molecule. And if you refer to this table, you can see that if it has AX3 notation, it has trigonal planar molecular geometry. And hence, SO3 has a trigonal planar geometry and the bond angles are 120 degrees. I hope this video helps you to understand the molecular geometry of this molecule and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.